Hey Scrappers, Moose here. So, this episode I've got something that um, I've never scrapped before. This is my first time scrapping. Uh, something I've gotten a request for several times, but I've never come across them. It's an Xbox 360. Alright, so, let's get this out of the way first and foremost. Uh, I am scrapping this for the purpose of a video. Normally I would definitely try and sell it as is for parts. Um, you're going to make more money selling it that way. That being said, um, and hopefully people understanding, and that this is just for the sake of a video, just so you can see what's inside, um, we'll get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm noticing is there's like a complete absence of screws on this, which could be a good thing. Um, so we'll start off. We've got, looks like a hard drive over here, so we'll put that aside to take apart a little bit better later. Yeah, we got some plastic pieces that pop off. This has a lot of these like little tabs here that you just pop up and they kind of let the whole unit separate. I like that. Non-magnetic stainless steel. Nope, that's magnetic. CD-ROM. A little bit of wire in here. Not a whole heck of a lot. There's a big old heat sink in here. Mm. Plastic. All ready to be recycled. Okay, so it looks like. I need to get rid of these Torx bits over here. Cooling fan there. I can go to a, a electric motor pile. All right, let's put that off. And it looks like on that front touch panel, there's gonna be a little bit of gold plating here and there. Nothing spectacular. All right, so here's one of the little boards that was on the front. You can see there's some gold plating on that side and that side, along with some ICs. Um, Sure, what that is. This doesn't look like gold plate. Um, there's a crystal oscillator there. You can save those up for when the price of silver goes up. E waste bends. Got a video on with information on those. And there's that. All right. So we've got this contraption here, which I'm sure. The main processing unit is under there somewhere. And hey, more Torx bits. Not sure how much of there. Hey, hey. And we've got now this will classify as a, um, a copper aluminum rad. 
Um, you can always try and remove the copper and separate everything out of these things. It makes it it's quite difficult. Um, so I just throw them in with my radiators. I've got a big old heat sink, aluminum heat sink. These are you know, worth some of the most for aluminum products. And looking at the board here, we've got uh, the two you know, processor chips. Don't look like anything spectacular. So my overall opinion of this board is, yeah, there's going to be some ICs on it. Um, this would qualify as a high-grade board. Um, and if I were to pick it, which is what I'm probably going to do, you know, I'm going to pull off you know, the flat packs, I'm going to pull off all these IC chips, um, all the copper stuff, uh, monolithic ceramic capacitors are here and there and everywhere on her. And probably take a look at some of the gold plated connector ends. And the other side is also covered with monolithics, a few ICs. And the trim on here, it's copper. So, <coughs> got that. And let's take a look at this disk drive, see if there's still a game left in it. Oh, there's a disk in there. Let's see what it is. Xbox 360 7 game demos. So, and it's scratched to hell, so nothing that I could resell. Alright. So that leaves me with this little board, and this is not going to be the same kind of, um, um, board, I guess, that you could sell with, like, other CD-ROM boards. It doesn't have the same, you know, pin set up in the back. Uh, I mean, it's definitely, you know, a mid-grade board. Because of the number of ICs on it. Monolithic ceramics. It's got some gold-plated pins in the, uh, was in the SATA slot. So, yeah, it's probably a mid-grade board right there. These little wires are indeed gold-plated. The ends are gold plated, so we're going to put those aside and treat those with AP later. And finally, the last thing that I want to pull out of this is the laser reader. Um, there's a little chunk in there that's got some gold plating on it. That, being a hobbyist, gold recovery, and refiner person, I like to tinker with that stuff, but for the average Joe, it's not worth the time to pull it out. Alright, and it doesn't even look like the laser reader in this one is even gold plated like all the other ones. So that's a bust. <coughs> Alright, so it looks like to sum up. We've got about four pounds of light iron. We've got some nice pieces of aluminum, less less than half a pound though. We've got this uh, copper aluminum radiator, which you know, again is less than half a pound. We've got this double fan, which is you know, electric motor. You got the Uh, this is probably high grade board, uh, not mid grade. So, high grade board, mid grade board. This is a little over a pound. That's pretty much all I got for wire. Of course, I didn't get the power cord that that uh, you know the units come with. Um, and these as well will be gold plated on the insides of there. And that's it. So I just scrapped an Xbox 360 and the first part that I pulled off was the hard drive. And I forgot to mention that in the um, in the total. So we're going to 
This is mostly plastic though. Looks like there's a bunch of little Torx bits. Gotta love those friggin' little screws. Alright, so just as I suspected, it's just a small laptop size um, hard drive. This, um, personally I'm against selling hard drives because they can contain uh, personal information, credit card information, that kind of thing. And from what I've read, there are a lot of great programs for cleaning hard drives, but there are none that are 100% effective at totally wiping everything off. So given that little chance that someone's information might be stolen and used without their permission, um, I just refuse to sell these. So this will just get scrapped. The logic board um, will be the, the big money maker off this one. And inside the rest of it, there's just some light iron. Couple little pieces of light iron, and this little piece here. It's got some gold plating in the ends. You know, a lot of these parts. I'm sure if you took them off carefully, you could resell them as well on eBay. Um, and that's it. So that's it for scrapping an Xbox 360. Um, not a whole heck of a lot. So I would say that if you find one of these, definitely try and sell it on eBay. Uh, you're going to make much more money than pulling it apart. Um, but if you want to pull it apart, that's what's inside. There you go. For people who are into the gold recovery hobby, uh, there's you know, a few little bits in there that are going to have some gold in them. But uh, you know, some nice ICs. There's definitely some you know, monolithics all over in there for some silver and palladium. And. That's about it. So, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I want to thank uh, a friend of mine, Mark Matthew, for providing this old Xbox for me to scrap. And see you guys on the next one.